Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called So Dark the Night. This is from Arrow Films, and it's directed by Joseph H. Lewis. This movie follows Inspector Kaysen, a renowned Paris detective who is on a much needed break. So he goes to the countryside and falls in love with the innkeeper's daughter. And on the night of their engagement party, she's murdered along with a local farmer. So Kaysen decides that he's going to take up the case and find out what happened to them and who is responsible. It's another Joseph H. Lewis movie. This one's from 1946, and it's only 70 minutes long. It's another short. It's a mystery noir, and, uh, you know, it's not as good as, say, My Name is Julia Ross, but it's not really the same kind of movie. This is definitely a whodunit, you know, and it keeps you guessing throughout the whole movie, to be honest. He's a older kind of detective and he falls for the younger woman and there's people that don't think they should be together and it happens very quickly he falls in love with her within like a day and she's promised to this local farmer boy like for since they were kids and he's not happy with it obviously and then like you know they become murdered they end up being murdered and like i said he gets on the case and it's like there's so many suspects cuz so many suspects because so everybody's acting strange uh ever since he arrived they're like in awe because he's like a celebrity around there because he's such a famous you know detective from paris and they're not obviously in paris they're in like the countryside and they're all about like uh nanette who was the woman he was supposed to marry uh was all about take me to paris i want to live in paris and which i think that's the only reason she wanted to marry him to be honest but they never really say that but you can tell like she just wanted to get out of the countryside but she everybody there is like in, very impressed that he's from paris and it's like um you know he's just like oh it's just, you know, it's just another place to live. You know, it's no big deal. And he kind of likes it around there. It's calm. But, you know, of course, his job follows him wherever he goes. And, um, you know, it uh, takes a very interesting turn toward the end, uh, especially when you find out who the killer is. Uh, it's not something that you haven't ever seen before. But back in 1946, maybe it was. And, uh, you know, I honestly didn't guess. So it got me. And uh, I did enjoy the movie. I liked it. But I didn't like it as much as, like I said, my name is Julia Ross. But, again, it's not the same kind of movie. But it was a very quick sort of mystery movie. Uh, mystery of noir, like I said. And uh, I, 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 didn't, I did like it. It's not as good as some mystery noirs that I've seen. But, you know, like maybe some Jalos where... But those go on for like almost two hours. And this one, like I said, 70 minutes. Actually less. Well, actually about 70 minutes because they always put the credits in the beginning of these movies. Like the old time. They have the credits in the beginning and at the end. It's just the end. And it's like, it seems like it ends so abruptly all the time. Like it's like, da -da, you know, the big music and it's the end or Finn. You know, it's like, that's the ending. But uh, it ended a little strange. But yet I get it. Um, I, I, I did, like I said, I did like the movie. And it looked nice. Again, another movie in black and white. It looked nice. Um, again, you don't really dislike characters back then. There's like uh, this married couple that's kind of funny. Uh, and it's weird because back then it's like, I guess maybe because they're from a village or whatever, but they're like the older married couple and they, you know, bicker at each other. And I guess that's a typical thing, but it just seems like the father isn't, um, you know, you're not scared of them, I guess you should say. Uh, they're not afraid to upset him. And the wife just yells at him all the time about stuff. And he yells right back. So it just seems, you know, and back, it just seems like in the 50s and that, it was like the man, the man was the one who worked and the woman was the one who was in the house. And, you know, she couldn't talk, you know, all, how all that bullshit was back then. And it just seemed like this wife <laughs> didn't give a shit, and she just said how said it how it was, and said how it was, and uh, you know told it how it was. That's how I don't want to say, and uh, you know he just like kind of gave it right back. It was like, you know, a, a, a fun couple to be honest. And uh, they were running the inn that he was staying at. Uh, 
there was, like I said, there was a lot of creepy couple, creepy people going around. There was, for some weird reason, and it, he was only in, a, uh, the, in it for a very short time. There was a hunchback in the movie, and I don't understand the point of him. There was no reason for him to be in the movie. He was just like telling them oh here we there's here's the bodies or come this way and and he ran with them and it was like all awkward and weird and i don't understand why he was there like and then you never see him again you just see him at that part and it's just very strange like i don't understand why he was there <laughs> and it was kind of, like i said it was kind of weird and i really thought it he i had to look him up and he is actually in the Burbs. He was one of the Burbs, uh, one of the Skull, Skullpeck, whatever the name is. He's one of the older man in it. And it's weird. Oh my God, I can't believe that's him. So here it is like 40 years later or so, or earlier, I should say, he's playing this hunchback in this movie. And, uh, you know, it's, it's this very strange part. And you'd never see him again. You don't see him in the beginning. You don't see him in the background. You just see all of a sudden see him here, and then he's gone. I don't get it, but <laughs> yeah, I don't, it's an enjoyable scene, just very weird. But the movie was, uh, like I said, I enjoyed it. But the picture was nice, and uh, sound quality was good. Captions were good. So now enough rambling. Let's check out what's inside here. And here we have some newly commissioned artwork by Tonsi Zonjic. If I'm saying that right, eh, it's okay. It's very plain. It's kind of like uh, my name is Julia Ross. It's you know just kind of an image in a way with like kind of creepiness in the back. This I think has a little more more going to it. I, I compare it to that because this is like the same. This is another Joseph H. Lewis movie, and uh, this is um, a decent decent cover. And then you got so dark the night. I kind of I do like the colors though. I, I like it's kind of it reminds me of like like swampy I don't know like like swamp thing in a way and then you have this picture here so dark the night it's very you know bright even though it's dark but you know what I mean like these kind of come out at you and then the spine is very you know it pops I guess I always say it pops um, I guess if I was going to put one on the shelf, you know, to look at, you know, which, where's that movie, I'd put this side on. I definitely like, I think, even though it's a black background, I think it, I, you know, I think it pops more. I like, I like these colors, but I just don't think it works too good. And I, so I'm going to have to go with the original poster art for the winner here. But let me know which one you like the best. Also, you have here some special edition contents. Not a ton of stuff, but some things on here for you. If you want to pause it now and check out what's on here. You can do that right now. And then here we have a Blu-ray, which is Region A. And then we have a booklet on the other side. And here, like I said, we have the booklet with this newly commissioned artwork on here. Honestly, I think they have this artwork way too many times already. It's on the Blu-ray. It's on here. It's on the slip cover or the, or the sleeve. It's just too much. Too, too many times, if you ask me. But, you know, inside here we have the contents. Some more pictures. You know, things about the movie. All that kind of stuff about the transfer, production credit, special things, and there is the back. So yeah, another Joseph H. Lewis movie that I do enjoy. But to be honest, I don't know if I'd watch this again. Um, it's not like it was a bad movie. I just, I don't think I would watch it again, to be honest. It, it didn't grab me as much as his other one did. Um, but I'm not, you know, upset or anything, or I don't think I wasted my time seeing this. Um, but I definitely think it's worth a shot. It's a short movie, like I said, it's only 70 minutes long. Uh, it's a pretty neat mystery, and it has a pretty good ending, I think. So, uh, you know, if you're interested, sounds like something you're interested in, you know, check it out. But right now, you should give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll put a link below for that. But I get no money for that, I just give my review, my honest review and uh, my honest opinion, and I don't get any money if you buy from that link or not. So you can buy from wherever you want, but there it is if you're interested. Also, I'll put a trailer below, and if you want to check out the trailer for this, but I always say proceed with caution, there may be spoilers. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you later.
Bye.